Welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the secret service menu that's on this receiver. Now, I fell into a bit of a trap here and I assumed that some of the numbers in here were actually one thing when they were something completely different. Now, I need to say thanks to Hobby King because they've sent me the service manual. I'll include a couple of screenshots in here to illustrate the things I'm talking about, but I'll also put a link down in the description. So if you want to go and download it, you can have a look at it too. To access the service menu is very simple. You just press and hold the red button in as you apply power. And then as it comes up, you'll see it's a test mode. And then you get all of these additional menu items. So there's things like uh, screen test, speaker test, all this kind of greatness. Now, if you go into setup diversity level, enter, we looked at this before. And you can scroll all the way through and you can actually look at things like the RSSI LED level, and that's the level that the RSSI has to be above before the blue LED will turn on. There's the diversity underscore LVL, and that's the difference between the two RSSIs when the decision of switching will be made. Uh, so the value is a percentage of the full RSSI scale. If you have a really low number, then the value between the two aerials needs to be less and less. If you have it too low, then you'll have lots and lots of switching across. That's what that one is. The last one is diversity time. Now, I made a video a couple of days ago that unfortunately had incorrect information, which is why I'm making this one. Diversity time here, um, I've got it at 4, and by default it comes at 10. I assumed, like many other people, that this was seconds. Of course, it can't be seconds. That's way too long. It's actually 100 milliseconds per point. So what this is saying is that by having it on four, this is 400 milliseconds. It, it will have to elapse before it will switch across from the less strong to the stronger signal. So if I want to change this, I can change it around. So if I change it to two, then it's 200 milliseconds before it will consider switching. Now, 200 milliseconds is a fifth of a second. So that's what that number actually is. The other thing as well, there's a couple of other cute things in this manual. There's one also about the menu switch test where you can actually have uh, different combinations of the two antennas onto the two outputs at the bottom. So if you want to have a look at the service manual, I'll put a link in the description. But hopefully that clears up any confusion, including confusion that I had myself, on what that diversity time is actually standing for. It's 100 milliseconds Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.